What's going on? How y'all doing tonight? I want to do a video about Bruce Sweeting, who was the engineer on Thriller. Bad, off the ball, dangerous. Bruce Sweeting, who also worked with Quincy Jones, amongst many others. If you're a music geek and nerd, or if you were a diehard Michael Jackson fan, or you follow Quincy Jones Productions, etc., you were familiar that Sweeting was quite known as the engineer. His job was to get that right sound, get the right effects, get the vocals right, get the tones right. And then he had high uh, technology with what he used. So that's one of the reasons why a lot of times he was up for Grammy of the Year for mixing and engineering. And um, engineering is a big thing with Ruckert, you know, just getting the right decimals, getting the right sounds, the right context. And he knew how to, him and Michael Jackson had an incredible rapport. And, um, yeah, and he lived to be 86 years old and he was part of the magic. You know, if you looked at those records, you saw Bruce Sweeting's name on the records, you know, that it was like he left his lasting impression and, um, got the word this week that he had passed and, um, I always look forward to his work, um, the sound, the quality. Because one thing about them ruckus, they always had like a sound that it didn't sound like, it, it sounded very modern, highly tech. And you could tell, you, did, you know, you had stuff the way he right where you wanted to hear it, the tones, the vibes, the whole nine. And engineering is a big part of music making. Just as important because just everybody don't get the credit to just engineer. So, um, you know, it was definitely a big thing. And so I wanted to take the time to send thoughts and prayers out to his family, uh, his friends, and to the fans around the world. We're very familiar, very familiar with what he brought to many projects. You know, not just with Quincy Jones, but obviously with him and Michael Jackson. And um, he was he worked on a lot of artists' work. He was a real respected engineer. And it ain't every day that you remember an engineer, but when you worked on the Thriller album, and he said that was his most proudest Grammy that he got. I bet it was. It was a labor of love and one of the Mount Rushmore albums as far as I'm concerned. I always consider, I pretty much consider Thriller to be the gold album. You know, seven out of nine hit songs. The record didn't sound like anything before or since, and it took a career to a whole different stratosphere, but the engineering and the way they worked and the labor of love, you got to put some respect by Bruce Sweden's name. So rest in peace. He passed at the age of 86. And um, he will be remembered on many albums that he did. So respect to uh, music engineer Bruce Sweden. Thoughts and prayers to his family and friends, fans around the world. Give me your thoughts and your takes. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for one another. And, uh, you know, being a music geek, there was always something about reading credits and reading engineering and reading who did what and what. And there's some names that you should always keep in mind of when you're following records. Peace.